Hello and welcome. Today we have for you Xperia Z5 running Android 7.1.1 and we will show you how to remove the Google account in case you forgot it. So start by connecting the phone to the internet which I already done. As you can see, this phone is located with the factory reset protection. So hold both both the volume up and down to enable talk back. Now with your finger draw L shape to open the talk back menu. Go to talk back settings. Now with two fingers scroll down to help and feedback and double tape it. To disable talkback, hold both volume up and down. I already went through here, so I will start from the beginning. Go to browse all articles, basic Android and talkback settings. Now scroll down to Nexus settings. Troubleshoot issues. And then manage or delete your location history. Press no. Then type anything to then double the text and choose assist. I'm going uh, to the settings to verify the Android version and security patch. And uh, here we have June 1st, 2017 security patch. And uh, as you can see, I can't delete developer's mode because the phone is still locked. Now go back to the Google Assistant and open Chrome. In the search bar, type Quick Shortcut Maker. Choose any website. And then download the APK. It will ask you to enable and install from unknown sources, but I already have it enabled. After you open the app, look for core settings. Choose the only event and press right. Now enable the no secure ADB and restart the phone. While the phone is booting, connect it to the computer. And make sure the phone is fully detected and the drivers are installed. Now go to your ADB folder. I will put the download link in the description. From there, hold shift and press right button and choose open command windows here. To verify the ADB is working, type ADB devices. If you see a serial number, that means it's working fine. Now to unlock the phone, enter this command. Now wait for a few seconds and the phone will just open by itself. And that's it. Your phone is completely unlocked and you can enable the developer mode 
and do whatever you want. At the end, if you find this tutorial useful, please leave a thumbs up, if not leave a comment and we will try to help you. Thank you for watching, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media.